Fam is me Holly and Tara and James Abby. This is my dry mushroom soak overnight and two box of tofu, cornstarch, two egg, and the chicken stock. Now we start cutting the mushroom. You can use dry or you can use the can. It's up to you. Can is more easy to prepare. I using the dry one so I must soak overnight and cut the small pieces like this now we cook the mushroom first first add the garlic we are cooking soup you can use olive oil or you can use the sesame oil more nicer and not so oily I use olive oil mostly if I cook in soup. Now we add the mushroom and cook well because sometimes the mushroom is very hard. When you soak overnight, you still need to cook properly. While you are waiting your mushroom to cook, you take your egg and beat it like this. Corn flour must be mixed with half cup of water while we are waiting for the mushroom to cook I start cutting my tofu you need to cut small pieces or small cubes I like to eat this soup even I cook this alone, I only to eat rice. I just bring this soup enough for me. You can add also some meat, minced meat, or add also a bit vegetable if you want, like carrots or cabbage. This is the way I cut my tofu, it's more easy. See if you cut like this, it's more easy and fast. Now we go back to the mushroom. Check whether it cooked already or not. We let the mushroom cook properly or soak before we can add another ingredient. Now we add the chicken stock and also the salt and keep it stirring. Now we add the water. If you feel your soup is not enough, you just add some water. And it depends how many people eat. If you peel uh, more people, then you just add all some of the ingredients. Now we add the black pepper powder. You can use black paper and white paper both also can. Now we start adding the tofu and the soap and let it boil for another 5 minutes and the soup is done. Now we add the beaten egg to add more flavor to the soup. 
I like cooking at home even I don't know how to cook but I try my best to cook something or try something new especially if you got children at home and last at the corn flour this is the last ingredients you add to the soup and let it boil and the soup is done this is the soup now this is my dinner i don't need rice or anything enough this for me that's it for today and thanks for watching and thanks to all you guys